All right, so I'm going to make this quick, super fast, because I know I got like five seconds before you think I'm some make money online scammer. I know you clicked on the title of that headline and you're like already thinking, what, what sh did I get myself into? What, what type of lubed up nonsense is this guy going to try and cram up my bun before he sells me a course? Don't worry, that's not going to happen. This video is actually going to do exactly what the title said. I am going to show you how as a beginner to go from zero to $10 million per year in the span of 10 years. And I think you can consistently do it if you have any form of IQ in that head of yours. Look, if you're some Arby's backstage worker who's picking your nose and eating boogers at home while playing some hentai game in your mom's basement, I can't help you. But for all of you that have a decent IQ, a good work ethic, and really want to change your lives financially and be successful, you know, one of those guys that can pay for dinner and drive those fancy cars, this video, without a doubt, I can almost guarantee is going to be your best shot at making lots of money in the next 10 years of your life. How can I say that? How can I back that up? What is this guy in a Magic Mike strip club with a with a gimp dummy? That's for jujitsu training. I don't f it at all. I promise you. What can this guy teach me? How can he show me this? But I can say that with confidence because I started my entrepreneurship journey as a complete beginner at 22 years old. At 35 years old, I have a net worth of hundreds of millions of dollars. I make tens of millions of dollars per year. And I did that in about 12 to 13 years. And I did this from being an absolute beginner, taking zero investors, never taking huge, massive financial risk. And most of my first businesses didn't require much cash or any cash at all. So this is perfect for you if you're just starting off or mid-tier, or heck, if you just want to follow my journey because you're a fanboy. I don't blame you. Look at me. Golden God. No wonder you're here. So if we can subtract the fact that I'm an absolute idiot and you can avoid all the mistakes I made, yes, I think you would actually do it faster than me and I'm gonna break it down in this video. Why? Because it's Monday and I'm done with my work and I'm bored. I have nothing to sell you. I don't even have the energy or willpower to sell you something because then I'd have to deal with you and, and I'd owe you something. So I'm just gonna give this to you because I hate seeing men fail to achieve their goals and be pathetic little incels their entire life. It's annoying, it's pathetic. You don't need to be like this. If I can just get the beer bottle out of your mouth, stop you from eating donuts and teach you how to build a sustainable business, I think I can make a good impact on the world. And that's what we're gonna do right now So I show you how to build these businesses to infinite money. All right, so look kids, let's gather around the whiteboard of truth and justice, I'm gonna break this down. And also, if you want this broken down in like a written context and, and broken down some steps you can actually come back to and follow, follow me on Twitter at ZSS Becker. Not only do I do that, I reveal almost every business tip and lesson I've ever learned on my Twitter at ZSS Becker. So it's great to follow me there because I don't always have time to make videos. So follow me there. Let's get to this. What are the levels we want to get to in business? We want to get from zero to, let's say, 100K a year. All right. Then we want to get to from uh 100k a year to uh one mil then we want to get from one mil to five mil and then we want to get to five mil to 10 20. let's just set a goal right here okay at this point right here you're worth 100 million dollars net worth wise i've done my job and you have gotten more than enough reward for the eight minutes you spent watching this, this YouTube video. And by the way, if you don't have eight minutes to watch this and you wanna go build successful businesses, maybe you should work on your discipline a little bit because if you can't watch me just explain everything I've ever done for free for a couple minutes, just get back to your Arby's job. It's just not, it's not cut out for you, all right? TikTok boys, I tell you. So for all the men remaining and watching this channel that have resisted the urge to jump on the TikTok and watch, I don't know, Taylor Swift dancing a moo moo, you children. For the men that are still here, let's talk about this. So zero to 100K, what is our situation right here? We don't have any money and we don't have any skills and we have no experience in business. So you don't need to go and start a business like Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos. What you need to do is you need to focus on acquiring knowledge or skills and then selling those skills. So what are some things you should focus on? I think primarily, if you are a talentless F right now, you should focus on freelancing. Now, what is freelancing? Go and learn something that's in demand. So for example, when I first got started, I learned SEO. Then I did it for businesses and people, and I just basically sell my services and market to people. Why is this awesome? It teaches you the basic of sales and gives you a basic skill set that you can sell to people and how to learn. This is all you should do. You can learn almost any skill set online for free that you can then start selling to people. And with AI popping up right now, there is limitless amount of things that you can learn how to do and then sell to people. I encourage you to browse around YouTube and look at some of the best ways for beginners to make money. But what you should not focus on is raising money and building some big business. 
Find a skill that people will pay you for and then do it. For example, running people's paid advertising. If you can get a few people to pay you 500,000 bucks a month, then you can start moving to the next level. If you can't do that, you have no business looking at any other business model. Don't go franchise McDonald's, you stupid idiot. Get someone to pay you to do manual labor. You are selling your time. You are a manual laborer. Now, another hack you could do is learn code. But I don't think this is a good one. Someone brought this up on Twitter the other day, at CSS Becker. Code is great because you can build a software and then you can sell it to people. But the thing is, you, you really don't know how to run a business and you don't know how to deal with clients. You don't know how to deal with customers. I really think doing code or selling code or developing products for people is a better way to go. Like they tell you what and you make it for them or you hire a team or whatnot, which we'll get into in a second. So freelancing, sell your time, gain skills, sell your time. You are a manual laborer at this point. You can get to 100K a year doing this, easy peasy, lemon cheesy. I got to 100K a year doing this back when money actually counted for money before all this inflation stuff. You can too. Zero or 100K to a million. Now you got some money coming in. Now you got an apartment. You don't have to go and chase rats on the street for food. Okay. Um, so you got 100K, you big f***ing man you. Now before we go and buy bottle service, let's get to a million dollars with this, which is relatively easy to do. Everybody rolls their eyes. It is. How do we do this? It's really easy. First, you have a little bit of money rolling around. You have money coming in. So you can actually say, all right, let's build a business and uh, let's invest just a tiny amount. Not our whole entire savings, but let's say 10K. You can take 10K from that 100K year you're making, 1,000 bucks a month going in, invest it in some business or whatnot. But what we're gonna do instead is we want to sell other people's time. We just wanna go one layer up. So for example, we were selling, I'm gonna use the term SEO in this because that's what I did when I started up. SEO is not the best thing to sell anymore. Right? You could sell AI services. You could build chatbot AIs for people. You could uh, go and make advertisement images for people. You could make logos. I don't know. With AI, you can do anything as a skillless, talentless idiot right now. So you're really lucky. I actually had to learn and, and develop a skill. But once you've developed that skill, what you want to do is you train other people to do it. Okay, and then you exclusively focus on selling their time. Okay, this is a clock. You sell this thing. Okay, which also looks like a booby. But um, what you wanna do is you gather a bunch of people and say, hey, look, you, you, you Goombas, what we're gonna do is you're gonna learn how to do this thing. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Or you find somebody who already knows how to do it, but is just terrible at selling. You then go and sell their time. You do the same exact thing you were doing before, but now it's not attached to your time. You have scale. Because now when you sell something, it takes none of your time. So you can just sell, 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 sell. So all you have to do is go and just quickly and easily start going and selling what you were doing before to the same people, but in a little bit more aggressive, smarter way. Maybe you start running ads. Maybe you actually start practicing lead gen and some types of marketing. And so at this point, what's gonna happen? You've separated yourself, your time out of the equation, and now you're focusing on scalable skills, marketing, sales, growing a business without your actual time involvement. You're just gonna be managing the people. This is gonna teach you how to actually be an entrepreneur. And until you can get to a million dollars a year doing this, you're really not ready for the next level. It's like you're in jujitsu, for example. You know, if I'm a white belt and I can't successfully escape a pin, I'm really not worthy or actually in a position where I need to be looking to go to blue belt, which is where you actually know what you're doing. Going from 100K to a million is basically kind of a blue belt in business. That's like the second layer. And once you get to a million dollars a year, you're pretty much made it. In between there, you're doing really well the entire way through. Unless you're living in New York City, this will get you enough to live in a studio apartment with three other sweaty men. I don't know why you live there if you do, but you know, invite the gimp in the background. Next step, how do we do this? From a mil to $5 million a year, this is the big hurdle. This is where most people fail. You're, most people do not get past this point. One mil to five mil. <clears throat> so what, what a lot of people do when they get to, what the heck is this writing? What a lot of people do when they get to one, the snill. Anyways though, the one to $5 million a year mark. The reason why people get stuck here is they make that first million dollars a year and then they just keep trying to do that thing over and over and over again. What you need to realize when you start businesses is your first business really shouldn't last that long. It should last maybe six months, a year. Next business, kind of the same thing. Why? Because you were an idiot when you made those businesses. You had no idea what you're doing. You're, you're doing training wheel cash flow businesses. This is not advanced stuff, okay? Um, this is not going to get you in the NBA if you were playing basketball. You're, you're playing in the peewees and you're slam dunking on children. That's what you're doing. That's fine. Now we want to go up a league. 
so what people do at this level is they don't break out of what they're doing and they keep trying to scale what they're already doing, but it doesn't scale because what happens when you have these business models that are easy to cash flow when you get to about a million dollars per year, everybody goes, he's making money. I'm going to do that too. And then about a million dollars per year, you really hit trouble because it gets overly competitive. In these levels, it's really easy to get to about a million five hundred thousand dollars per year, but anywhere around those parts, it's really hard to get past that because you need a lot of momentum. You have customers churning. Just just take my word on. And when you get to this point and you're feeling stuck, this is why it's happening. So, at a million dollars per year, what you need to focus on is highly scalable businesses that don't have anything to do with anybody's time because selling people's time is annoying. So what businesses are these? And they need to focus on cash flow while investing a little bit of money. Because when you have a million dollars per year coming in, you can drop 100,000, 200,000 on this business. You can. I don't want to do that. Okay, great. You're going to make a million dollars per year for the rest of your life. That's cool. Not as cool as making 10, 20 million dollars a year. You're not going to be famous on Instagram and, and on yachts. You're just going to be pretty successful. And then by the time inflation kicks in even more, you'll be making as much as a McDonald's employee, but whatever. Anyways, what is going to go on here is there's a few business models you want to look at, which is going to be info marketing, which is selling information, uh, e-commerce, and small scale software. So what we're going to do is we're going to build these types of businesses. Another really good example is a service-based business where you have people and they do a really intricate service. This is harder to do but it can work. For example, Alex Hermosi's gym launch, he'd bring people in with information, he'd sell them information and he'd give them to events. And then they'd, they'd run services that would help people set up and, and run their gym businesses. Then on the back end, he'd sell software, supplements to them, all sorts of services on top of the information. So this works really well as well. It's something you can also look at. And by the time you're making about a million dollars per year, you'll be able to grasp the concept. This might be foreign to you now, but by the time you're there, it will not be. Why these? These are all businesses that can scale without you being there. If you if you make a small little e-commerce product, let's say you're selling like little training knives or something like that. It doesn't cost, cost much to make the product. You can sell it and you run ads to it on Facebook. Info marketing. Let's say you start doing what all the people on YouTube are doing. Why do they do this? Because it's a high cash flow, minimal investment business model that anyone can do. Sell info marketing. Learn how to sell something. Learn how to get the marketing in and transfer the stuff that you learned from your other business, the one before that marketing into this and start selling info procs. You're gonna learn how to put yourself out on YouTube, run advertising, the same thing with e-commerce as well. And then finally, you can also go for lower level software. What do I mean by lower level software? I mean like Chrome extensions, Shopify plugins. You can hire a developer, pay them, and then you start using paid traffic and a little bit of marketing to sell your software. Each of these things right here will require you to invest. Info and e-commerce require ads and a little bit of investment up front to get any of them going. You have to get a camera, start marketing, get on YouTube, whatever, e-commerce, initial procs, whatever. Software, you're going to have to learn how to hire developers. You're probably not going to do well, too well at these things your first year. That's fine. You're going to learn so much more than the people that are stuck in their comfort zone at $1 million per year. Within about a year's time, you're going to know what you're doing and you'll be making money. And these things right here, you can scale to $5 million per year because they don't require anybody's time. As soon as you get it, as soon as you understand the ads, as soon as you understand the product creation, which is gonna take time, like you just got to your blue belt, you're trying to get to your purple belt, what you need to know how to do is you need to master the business from the blue belt to the purple belt. You don't just go to it, you don't just like, roll on the mats, start rolling around and be like, I'm a purple belt now. No, you're gonna to need to practice a few damn years at it before you get it, and it's easy. But if you keep doing it and you keep at it, in a few years, making $5 million per year will be in your reach, and you can go for it. Now you're in the big leads. All right, now, you're, now you got a purple belt, brown belt area. How do we get our black belt? Let's go $10 million per year. And that's actually really not even a black belt in business. That's it's not even like the top tier, okay? It's not even like, once you get to like $10 million here, then there's like infinite tiers past that. So how do we get to five mil to infinite? And this is the thing that's not gonna apply to most people watching this video, and that's fine. This is something we wanna go for in a 10 year period. For example, on jujitsu, and by the way, I'm just using it because it's, it's a really good analogy. I'm not some expert jujitsu fighter or anything like that. We can use karate if you want, but getting a black belt on any martial art takes like 10 years on average, or maybe, I don't know. Someone's gonna correct me in the comments like, I get it in six years, I am a man. Okay, back to Arby's with you. So five to 20, <clears throat> there is one big change from five to 20. You stop trying to make money. 
So in every business before this, why people get stuck at $5 million per year is the same reason they get stuck at $1 million per year. They misunderstand the game. They don't understand the next level of the game. At $5 million per year, it's not important to get paid. You've been, you're making $5 million a year from one business, whatever. It should be cash flowing. You should be at like a 70% profit margin or something like that. Because the goal is cash. You're being a short-sighted bimbo who has no focus on valuations or long-term anything. You're just trying to bathe in money like Scrooge McDuck. Cool, that's fine. And congratulations. If you've done that within three to five years of business, that's a huge accomplishment. You start at 20 years old, 25 years uh, old, you're making that kind of money. Fantastic. Scrooge McDuck. Now we want to actually evolve from being a duck in a pool of money and actually evolve into a grown man who makes a lot of money. So how do we do this? From five to 20 in past this, it's not about making money at all. It's about ownership. So for example, if I can build a software company, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and invest all my money. So one of the reasons why I was really successful is when I was making five, $4 million a year, I said, screw it. I'm going to invest in everything. I'm going to make myself impenetrable. And I got an apartment with no furniture, mattress and a floor. And I went back to like, no, no cost of living whatsoever. And I was un unbeatable because I had no hard living costs. And I could just invest as much money as I wanted to in my software company. No, I didn't have to invest $5 million per year. All right, I probably had to invest like 100, 200K a month into it, starting off building it. But you wanna go for big swing businesses. And at $5 million per year, you're gonna know what big swing businesses are. I don't have to break it down to you in this video. You, you know how to fight. You got your purple belt. You know how to get in the ring. It's up to you to actually start using creativity. I'm not going to sit here and spoon feed you Play-Doh and burp you and pat you on the back and carry you. This is the, you are in the, you're in the big leagues now. You want to go for big businesses. And what you want to focus on is ownership valuation. So for example, if I build something like, uh, when I build software companies, what I'm going to try and do is if I can get that software company to a million dollar or a hundred thousand a month in, in revenue, that company is then worth about $10 million. So if I have like, let's say 90% ownership of that, and I did that zero to 100K in a month, which is relatively not that hard for me to do, I just increased my net worth by $10 million. My share value almost in that company is nine to $10 million. So then if I go and scale that without making a single dollar, and I take that to 500K per month, I scaled up to that level right there, with the valuation and the uptrend right there, that's probably going to be about a 10x on the money that's being make, made right there. So I'm going to ma go and add about $50 million in share value to myself while still not making any money. So what you have to understand is the easiest way to grow a company is to just reinvest in it. And then you have share value. When you reinvest in it, the company revenue starts to skyrocket because you're not taking home any money. You're putting it all back in the company. The company valuation starts to skyrocket, but you own most of the company and people want that share value. They want that ownership. So then what you can do, let's say I get a company to, I don't know, uh, 500,000 a month in a year and a half, two years even. I can then sell... 10% of the company for $5 million. I can sell 20% of it for 10 million, so on and so forth. I get that to a million dollars per month. If the niche is right, if the churn and the numbers all add up, this isn't, you're not always gonna get these multiples. I have a $100 million company and people will pay me based on that share value. If I'm in the right industry, I could have a $200 million company by share value. Okay, two years, I go and I then sell my shares, 10% of it for 10 and $20 million. Heck, I could just get an offer and make $200 million clean like that, which is how I view business right now. I'm not going to try and make money. What I'm going to try to do is build up share value and get the right numbers so that I can either exit the company or take the company public in some way and then have value and liquidity for my share value. And those are the things I'm going to look at. And so I can go out there and if I apply the strategy correctly, make 20, 50, $100 million per year in net worth value via share value. That's how you go and play the big game. You don't ever even try to make money because you already have money in the bank. And if you invest all the money you've made this entire time, let's say you're making $5 million a year, you're taking home three, four, whatever, put that in the bank, you have that invested, you're making five, 6% on it, maybe if you're a big wig, making 8%, that will pay for your entire lifestyle. You have no need for money, so you need to play the share game. And that is how you go from an absolute beginner. And the key concepts you have... And the key concepts you have to understand at each level from zero to 10, $20 million a year net worth of nine figures. That is how I did it. And if I would understand those things, the things I just shared with you right now, I don't even think it would have taken me 10 years. I think I could have done it in five years. The thing that messed me up is I didn't recognize the levels that I was at and the games I was playing at each level. And so I got stuck at each level a lot longer than I should have 
Uh, and it took massive moves and massive breakthroughs that I had to stumble through to discover those things, which I just gave to you in this video because I'm bored on a Monday. So if you enjoyed this video, follow me on Twitter at CSS Becker. My ego is weirdly attached to my follow count. I, I, it's, it's my weakness. I'd really appreciate it if you just go and subscribe there. And to incentivize you, I have written versions of what I just broke down. I've written versions of a lot of my other videos, my sleep routines, everything I do in business. I share tips and everything I'm doing on there all the time. And it's much more rapid information than these, this YouTube because making these videos is a pain. I can only do like two vids a week max. So follow me on Twitter, subscribe. This video is longer than I wanted it to. So I'm just going to...